Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 3.37 from Sadiku book. So the question is solve problem 3.8 using mass analysis. And problem 3.8 says we are need to find V0. So V0 is the voltage across this resistor here. Okay, let's do exactly that. We are asked to use mass analysis. So this is not not but mass analysis. Okay. So now let's draw our loop then. So let's make this here as loop I1. And then this loop here as I2. So we have two loops here in I1. I1 here and I2 here. And I draw the loop counterclockwise. Why? Because I have this V0 here. So we take a note that v0 is equal to i1 multiplied by the resistor uh, this one right so i will have 4 so v0 is equal to 4 i1 and this will uh useful this will be very useful later because by using loop analysis we need to find out i1 and I2. Okay, let's do exactly that. We start from doing KVL at loop I1. Okay, KVL state that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Let's start from this 6 ohm resistor. So I will have 6 there. And then the only can that pass through it is I1. So I will have I1 there. And then plus, again, I have this 4 ohm resistor. And the only current that pass through it also I1. Okay. And then let's do the next one. So I will have 20. And currently we are working at loop I1. So I will have 20 I1 here. And then the other loops here, I2. There are another current that pass through this 20 ohm resistor. But the direction is the opposite of I1. So I will have minus I2. Good. And then for this one, I have a voltage source. And the current is flowing from the negative terminal to positive terminal. So I will have minus 60. And all of that will equal to 0. And now let's do some arithmetic here. So 6 plus 4, that will be 10. And 10 plus 20, I will have 30. Right? So I will have 30 I1. And then 20 multiplied by minus I2, I will have minus 20 I2. And let's move this minus 60 to the right hand side. So I will have 60 there. Okay. Uh, I think we can save this as equation number one. Okay, now let's do another KVL, but this time at loop I2. KVL at loop I2. KVL said that the sum of the voltage will equal to zero. Okay, maybe let's start from this 60 volt voltage source and the current is flowing from the positive side to the negative side. So I will have positive uh, sign here. So I will have 60 and then plus now 20 and currently we are working at I2. So I2 came first, but here I1 is flowing to the opposite direction. So minus I1. Okay, and then let's move on to this dependent voltage source. I will have 5V0, but the sign will be negative, right? Because it's flowing from the negative side to positive side. So I will have minus 5V0. And then plus, I will have this one here, 20. And the only current that pass through it is I2. And all of that will equal to 0. Okay, now maybe let's move this 60 to the right hand side, but let's work with this first. So I will have 20 I2 and then minus 20 I1. Okay, and then minus 5 
P0, but P0 is 4I1. So let's substitute that. And then plus this one here, 20 I2. Okay, that is good. And all of that will equal to zero. Okay, now I will have 20 plus 20. That should be 40. And then for this one, I will have minus 20. And then minus 20, minus 40. Okay, oh, see this on the right hand side, that will be minus 60 sorry from this one and let's rewrite that so i will have minus 20 minus 20 i will have minus 40 i1 and then plus 40 i2 and all of that will equal to minus 60 and let's have this as equation number two Okay, now what can we do? We solve for I1 and I2, right? Solve for I1 and I2. And the fastest way to do it is by using calculator, but you can use substitution or elimination. It's okay, but I want to use calculator. So equation solver is number five and two variables is number one. And I will have 30 minus 20 and then 60 and then minus 40. Okay, and then 40 and then minus 60. All good. Now I will have I1 is equal to 3 ampere. I1 is equal to 3 ampere and what is i2 i2 is 1.5 ampere 1.5 ampere okay but the question is not asking about i1 or i2 but p0 okay so p0 what is p0 p0 is for i1 right so p0 is equal to 4 i1 and i1 is 3 ampere so V0 is 4 multiplied by 3. Therefore, V0 is equal to 12. And the unit is volt. And let's put this into a box and highlight them because this is the final answer for this problem. Okay, I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.